Today we are in Skinas National Park, which is uh, a pretty amazing national park located in a, about a 30 minutes drive from the capital of Greece, Athens. And this place is amazing, especially if you are into bird watching and everything. There's so much wildlife around. But we are not here today to talk about the national park. We are here to talk about the new area B base rack. So here it is, new ARB base rack, probably one of the first, if not the first, uh, base racks to be fitted on a, um, on a Discovery 1. Uh, sorry about all the wind noise, it's so windy today. Okay, let's continue. Uh, if you've been following the channel for a while, you might have noticed that uh, we used to have a different roof rack up there. The roof rack we used to have was a safety device, it's Highlander. Uh, roof rack, which I reckon it looked so good, but uh, we had one major issue with it and that was that it was sitting Pretty high above the roof. So then the roof tent would sit even higher and etc etc So we just want to change that and we wanted a really nice low profile rack. So We went out and start looking for uh, other roof racks So I'm not gonna name any companies here because this is not a comparison video Anyway, we decided to go with the ARB base rack. So, uh, why the base rack? There are three reasons why we went uh, with this roof rack. Number one being, it is so, so low profile. I mean, it's just so close to the roof. And it's exactly what we wanted. Uh, reason number two is that it is really, really, really lightweight. It weighs about 26 kilos for a full expedition roof rack, which is really good. Reason number three is that this is actually fully welded. I mean, it's not different pieces uh, bolt on together. This is one piece. Now, fitting the roof rack on the disco, that, that was a bit of an issue because ARB doesn't make um, an off-the-shelf fitting kit for the base rack for Discovery 1 or 2. Now, what we did is we purchased those fitting kit. Uh, these are legs out of an older ARB rack, uh, and they work. They just need a few modifications here and there, and they work. Everything is nice and tight up there. No movement whatsoever. So we are pretty happy with that. Now the quality of everything, the finish of the rack, and the, the paint, the uh, powder coating that they have. It's so, so nice. All right, so a few things about the rack. As you can see, this is a, a platform style rack. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of dust on here. And what I mean about that, this rack is not your typical tubular rack, or if you have that uh, mesh kind of thing here, this is a platform rack. Although, what ARB did is they didn't went with a classical uh, test lock on um, these bars here. What they did is they have developed their own new system, which is these rails here. They call it the dovetail system. So what you actually do here is you, you can fit a bunch of accessories really, really easy. For example, I've got this uh, tie down point and all I gotta do is I just have to unscrew this here fit it anywhere I want tighten it up and here we go so talking about uh, these little things ARB has a huge catalogue of accessories that are available for the ARB base rack uh, along with these tie down points that I have purchased and 
I mean they got everything from jerry can holders or gas bottle holders uh, recovery boards holders not only for the thread pros but on, also for uh, max trucks so if you got max, max trucks they have um, that was a duck they have uh, a fitting kit and they also have fitting kit adapters for uh, T-slot so if you got any T-slot accessories you can actually fit them on the base rack which is good I mean this rack you can do anything with it you can customize it the way you want and one other thing that AIB offers is uh, side rails they are removable side rails that you can purchase and you can then um, attach them on here basically in the same manner that you would attach the tie down points uh, I didn't wait for rails because I, I don't think I need them and as I've told you I really wanted to get this nice low profile so flat track is fine for me speaking of accessories I have to mention the base rack light bar okay so ARB has specifically designed this light bar for this roof rack and why uh, am I saying this if you ever had lights on the roof you might have experienced reflection coming out from the bonnet and the way that they have designed this uh, light bar and the way that they placed the LEDs inside they actually managed to eliminate the bonnet reflection uh, I have tested it and yes it works and it also looks really really cool in my opinion I mean it's so slimline you can hardly even see it now the light bar also comes with two different fitting kits uh, the one that I have used allows you to mount the light bar right underneath the base rack there's another one which um, comes with the light bar and allows you to fit it right in front of the base rack right here now other accessories that I have uh, mounted on the rack already is uh, our awning obviously which attaches on these quick release uh, brackets over here Okay, quick release brackets are a game changer. I mean, I would never go back to the, the typical awning brackets because it's you can fit an awning by yourself in three minutes stops. Yeah. Now, another thing that we have uh, here is obviously our uh, Simpson 3 roof tent, which just basically attaches on the roof rack through this uh, just metal part which goes from the one side to the other on of this uh, rail and then you just basically uh, tighten this up and you're good to go the dovetail system goes all around the roof rack which uh, which also <laughs> so good because you can also fit attachments right here for example I could take this tie down point place there and I just can place it right over here or right over here uh, this also allows you to mount uh, things on the side like uh, shovel mounts or high lift jack mounts which is also good so we have this rack up there for about two months and we have already tested it in two of our trips both of them had some really really tough roads and everything just stayed up there in one piece which is which is good one negative aspect of the base rack I can that I can report on is wind noise all right so let me talk to you a bit about wind noise if you're driving a modern four-wheel drive you are going to notice uh, the wind noise created from the base rack but if you're driving a 25 years old four-wheel drive like I do you're pretty much used to a lot of noises that um, are all cars usually make for example uh, a lot of things do rattle I don't know if you can hear it now on the, on the camera but they do and I'm just running mud tires I mean, <laughs> how can I complain for the noise caused by the roof rack and don't complain from uh, for the noise that is caused uh, from the mud tires so for me it's not that of an issue 
but for a lot of people wind noise uh, might be pretty annoying. So in order to solve this, ARB is also supplying a wind deflector which goes in the front of the rack and theoretically eliminates or reduces noise caused from, uh, from the wind. I might try to, fin to fit a, a wind deflector up there in front. I don't know if you can hear the wind noise right now. I mean it's minimal. <laughs> 